It's incredible that something so small is at the center of debate worldwide. Seeds are present in thousands of ways in our lives, as a means of subsistence and a source of food. Millions of people in both the countryside and cities are fed with seeds and their derivatives. But today, they are no longer freely accessible to farmers. In a few countries, such as the USA, seeds can already be patented. We can say that today some plants have an owner. They are owned by a few corporations that have more and more global power. And this concentration of ownership of seeds in a few hands threatens the creation of new varieties, the preservation of biodiversity, the free choice of farmers, and as a consequence, the most basic need of a country, food. In Argentina, this has not happened yet. Seeds are affected by two intellectual property rules, the seed law and the patent law. Currently, the seed law protects life and prevents someone from owning a living organism. Whilst it's possible to register new seeds, the seed law allows new varieties to be developed based on that seed, and it allows the reuse of those seeds by farmers. The patent law permits genetic modifications to be owned. By just adding a gene to a seed, the patent holders are able to prevent harvested grain from being reused, or a new variety from being developed based on that seed. That is why the seed law and the patent law conflict. And in general, when there is conflict, the most powerful always win. In this case, the six corporations that via the patent system control 96% of the global market in genetically modified seeds. At this moment, a new seed law is being debated in Argentina and there are two opposing positions. Some propose that the seed law should have the same restrictions as the patent law. Others argue that the seed law should remain unchanged so as to guarantee the right to reuse seeds. But to the extent that the use of genetic modification expands to cover more seeds and varieties, something that is already happening globally, the door is open for large corporations to take possession of all seeds and charge for their use. And if there were other alternatives? But what if we were to try and create a new system that can both protect innovation and ensure access in a world where patents already exist? In recent times, there has been a new approach based on the model of open source. This idea is inspired by the free software movement, which has allowed countless people to contribute to the development of new programs and millions of users to access them. In the same way, the development of an open source license for genetic resources has been proposed. That arrangement would permit new crop varieties to be registered and ensure access to seeds and genetic information, whether to replant seed or innovate to create new varieties. And at the same time, prohibit the patenting of material registered under the open source license. This license can prevent the appropriation of a part of nature and at the same time, encourage the free movement of knowledge and innovation and contribute to the preservation of biodiversity. This is one possible idea. There may be others. It will be good to think about them and discuss them. Soon decisions are going to be made about the seed law in Argentina, an issue that affects us all. So it's important to expand the opportunities for discussion and debate, to think about alternatives and generate ideas. And you? What do you think?